Okay, hello, welcome. I'm here with Marcus, and today we're gonna show off the Unica Pro. We're also gonna hear a bit about Marcus, Unica, and it's gonna be a fun video. I think this is such a unique machine and, and company, and, and the people who are working on this machine are quite incredible, and it's something that I want to show off, and I would love for you guys to uh, join us and uh, hear about the story of Unica. So without further ado, do you wanna introduce yourself and uh, who you are? Yeah, thank you, Brian. Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Markus Czesowski. Um, I'm one of four uh, co-founders of Unica Coffee and responsible for business development, marketing, and all sales aspects uh, of this company. Well, let's hear a little bit more about Unica and who you guys are. So yeah, Unica Coffee um, is a Swiss-based company in Krins, in the beautiful canton of Luzerne. Uh, we are a privately owned company uh, which aims to develop and manufacture innovative, sustainable, and high quality products for the coffee beverage industry. So let's talk a bit about the Unica Pro because I, I think this machine is just incredibly innovative. There are a lot of features that we see from actually a variety of machines just like incorporated into one single package. And I think this is something that I, I really, really want to shock because this this is what's exciting to me is uh, when companies are really pushing the barrier and they're, they're, pu they're pushing boundaries and they're, they're putting these things that we love in a single uh, machine. So yeah, that's the Unica Pro, our first product, uh, which we launched uh, last year. It, as you can see, it is a single group uh, espresso machine. Uh, which features our own developed uh, dynamic flow displacement pump and novel on-demand heating concept and a 0.5 uh, liter stainless steel um, steam boiler. This is a, just an incredibly unique machine because it, I think it's one of the first few, if not the only machine that incorporates like on-demand instant heating as well as a steam boiler in a single package. That correct. Yeah, like that right there is something that I think like, I'm, I'm just like, finally, somebody did that. Where we're able to tap into a lot of these really amazing, um, like instant heating and fast heat up time, super low thermal mass, but also quality of life of steaming milk drinks with an actual dedicated steam boiler. So let's actually set up the machine. So how long does this take to actually heat up? If you turn the machine on, after four seconds, you have the hot water ready. Within 90 seconds, you will have uh, the brewing group ready and 120 seconds, uh, the steam boiler. Wow, that was like the one thing that really impressed me is, so, you know, Marcus brought the machine over, he set it up, he, we poured water into it, we, you know, we set it up and we turned it on and it's like two minutes, three minutes, and it's just ready to go. And I was like, I was like this is like magic, like what's going on here? And um, it, it, it's, it's just incredible because like we're now really pushing the barrier of like how fast can you heat machines up there. And also if you've noticed, we haven't, you know, you can't hear anything. It's like, it's, it's silent when it, it, heat, it heats up. It's like, yeah, yeah it's pretty good. <laughs> it's a super, it's a super silent machine. And uh, I think also in terms of uh, heat up time, the longest what needs to be heat up time is actually the porter filter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but here also with twice flushing uh, hot water through the porter filter, you have it also ready. So like, I'm always saying like with, yeah, plus minus 120 seconds, you can pull uh, your shop uh, or make a cappuccino. Mm. Wow. So now it looks like the machine is ready to brew, but uh, we can, why don't we actually just pull a shot on this and then we can talk a little bit more about the secret sauce that's inside here and uh, go through a lot of the, just in my opinion, really, really cool features of the Unica Pro. Yeah, let's do it. We got a puck prepped. Now let's actually uh, pull a shot. So yes, go ahead let's and do, do that. it. So this is actually a Bloomy profile um, which we have here, and what you will see is the pre-infusion will start with 3.5 milliliter per second until it reaches a certain pressure. Um, we see then pressure release and then we starting uh, extracting flow profiling wise um, the espresso. And it 
is uh, completely silent as, as you see we're just sitting here and it's like you you don't even hear like a, a rotary pump or vibration pumps moving like it's 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 like a yeah, wow I can't even... <laughs> so you do hear that after but it's like during the shot when it's pulling it is just it's quiet yeah that is really a special feature mm -hmm. of our displacement pump so we'll talk a bit more about the the pump and everything here so we we just pulled a shot there and we see a screen that says um you know gr grind analysis okay so we got my beautiful shot of espresso yeah as as you already said um after each shot uh, the user gets indicated um with the grind science analysis so it will tell you based on your recipe settings if the grind size was optimal set or too coarse or too fine and will um, tell you like it gives you a little bit more feedback mm -hmm. in terms of like how to set uh, this shot in terms of what is quite interesting i think to know is that this recipe got created by a specialty coffee roaster in switzerland uh, called Muyu Coffee Roasters. Uh, I have here uh, Finca Isabel uh, Geisha Pea Burial from Bolivia, so yeah. a very rare um, espresso uh, coffee. Um, it got created, this recipe, from Muyu Coffee Roasters, and they sent us the coffee over uh, with this recipe, and we, we just uploaded the recipe. Needed just to follow the, the grind size analysis, and you receive the shot as the roaster was uh, developing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that is super cool, is uh, roasters can create recipes for their coffees, send it out there, and you know, like we're here in the USA, Muyu is in Switzerland. Yes. And they made a recipe, they sent it over to us, and we're now able to pull the coffee in the exact same way that they want, because they also have a machine, we have a machine here, it's synced up, we follow, the grind size, you know, we still have to dial in our grind to make sure that we're in the optimal range, but once we're there, we're getting a pretty good, close representation of how they wanted their coffee to taste. And, and I think that it, that's, that's super cool. I believe this is one of the very first few times of a, an, of an espresso manufacturer actually really tapping into data logging, data sharing, and... Yeah, like the Unica Pro is, uh, besides being in every aspect, uh, very precise and accurate, um, it's a real data logger. So every sensor value will be read and logged uh, 50 times per second. And um, imagine you are a roaster out there, um, you can create uh, your own recipes. And uh, if you have then even uh, three or four coffee shops, you can send out this recipe with your coffee to your coffee shops and you know that the consistency is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can even uh, read that data, right? Like that data will eventually be able to get exported and synced up somewhere, and then we'll you'll be able to even like analyze, like, hey, how are you know how are my Unica pros performing across my multiple shops, and are people pulling good espresso st stuff like that? And exactly. I think that's that's so cool. It's like we're we're seeing. I, I think this is really really the next next one of the big next steps of, of espresso is just like we really need to start tapping into data and you know this is like one of the first times that I've seen I, I would say a much more professional application of, of data logging and data usage so we, we pulled the shot here um, and what can you do now I mean you could go um, and look at your recent uh, shot, mm -hmm. so like that's um, the profile. Um, you can uh, again uh, have a look at it. You can also go uh, into the settings of history and there you can uh, look up visually uh, your last 50 shots. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, But like you also could uh, download all of your data via USB stick, LAN or Wi-Fi and do the thorough data analysis. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so we're, we're gonna cut closer to the machine now because there, there's just so many things we can go over, um, especially during um, post-shot analysis as well as actually setting up profiles for the next kind of any sort of shots you wanna use. We'll cut close and look at this and then we will sit back down again and then we can chat some more about the uh, Unica Pro. So here we go, we pulled the shot. 
we had the grind size analysis and now we're looking at um, exactly how the profile of the espresso pulled. Um, so we have like the full data readout here. So yeah, what you see here is actually the blue line is um, the flow rate and the green uh, background is um, the pressure during. So like you see nicely after the pre-infusion is done, it started then flow profiling, extraction, the pressure goes up again and through extracting the solids, um, the resistance in the coffee pot goes down and also with that, uh, the pressure down. Mm -hmm. um, you see the straight line uh, of this flow profiling, that is really that precise mm -hmm. uh, in terms of um, displacing the volume. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's take a little bit of a closer look at the Unico Pro. So we're standing up, we got the machine here. First of all, as you have seen, the size of the machine is it's pretty small for uh, what it can do, but I want to emphasize post-shot analysis. Like, you know, we pulled a shot, what can you actually do with this data? And then we can talk a bit about like, you know, how is this even done? Like, like what are the mechanics in here? And you know, well, we will take the machine apart as well and showcase uh, the inside, but cool. So we pulled a shot. Yeah, and um, as I mentioned before, um, we, have a very precise pump uh, and uh, we can show you uh, this a little bit later but like how are why are we so precise and accurate mm -hmm. it's a displacement pump so and it is a stepper driven uh, stepper motor driven pump and with each step of the motor you displace uh, a volume of 0 0.001 milliliter that's very yeah like very little and um, like in, in terms of ounces, that's 3.4 times 10 um, to the power of negative five ounces. That is, it's really, really little. The Unica Pro has also a built-in uh, laser sensor, uh, which detects the porta filter. So like if I remove now the porta filter, so it will detect that I removed it and uh, it will actually start. So it'll auto flush like that, you know, so. You got that auto flush, so maybe if you're serving a pop-up and everything, and you have like a bunch of, uh, you know, you, you, you're like doing um, farmer's market or a, a pop-up, like you just don't have to keep flushing yourself. The machine will just do it for you. That's super convenient. And then like, what else can we do? This this UI is quite interesting as well. Like there, there's a lot of, fe there are a lot of features in this. Yes, I mean, you, you have, you can uh, create up to 24 recipes. Uh, and manage them also on the display. Like starting from the hot water, when you press the hot water, um, you have here pre-dialed in four different um, hot water temperatures. And right now 40 degrees Celsius with 30 ml, 100 degrees Celsius with 50 ml, and 80 degrees Celsius with 300 ml. So like think of if you want to create your green tea, 80 degrees, 300 ml, you create it uh, here right away uh, and you could get consistent 300 ml in your cup uh, with 80 degrees Celsius. Um, but also if you are a mother and you have a baby with formula and you don't, you want to have the formula drink directly drinkable, you set it to something like uh, 40 degrees Celsius uh, in the amount of uh, water uh, you want. You're able to drop and increase temperature incredibly fast because of the low thermal mass of this as well, right? Exactly, that's uh, exactly the point. So this novel heating concept consists out of a thick film layer heater, a 1800 watt module on the top. This brings your water temperature um, for the extraction of coffee to the set temperature plus minus two degrees uh, of the set temperature. And then you have four individual um, heating zones in the brewing group, which brings then your temperature down to plus minus 0.5 degrees Celsius accurate. Mm -hmm. For the hot water, it will be just uh, heated through the thick film layer, that's, uh, that's good enough. But for the water extraction, you want to have a much more higher uh, temperature mm -hmm. accuracy. So let's maybe take a cup. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, let's talk uh, a little bit about uh, low thermal mass. So I uh, put 
in a cup under the brewing group. I have here three different recipes defined. Uh, one recipe with, I think, 91 degrees Celsius, 92 and 93. Um, so with a low thermal mass uh, brewing group, so you can jump from temperature to temperature uh, with just flushing of 20 ml of water. Mm. So currently the brewing group is set to the last recipe mm. temperature, which was 92 degrees, the blooming. Um, but if I go now back to uh, 90 deg uh, 91 degree, I flush quickly my 20 ml. I'm going back and you see you have your brewing group at 90 degrees Celsius. If I go now to a recipe where I have it preset to 93 degrees Celsius, I go quickly to flushing and I go back and have 93 degrees Celsius. <laughs> That's cool. That's, it, it's fast and the other thing too is like, I have the microphone here, you probably could barely hear some of that. Like if you want to drop temperature and play around with those types of profiles or increase temperature, it is totally possible here uh, because of that lower thermal mass. And I think this is something that, again, is like, you don't see this in many machines, like people really tapping into adjusting temperature in, in such a fluid way, like such a fast way. Um, you know, most of the, mo most machines say it's like, oh, we want to only make sure the temperature, it's like a huge heat sink, just give me temperature. But it's like, I think there's a lot, there are a lot more interesting things on the taste side, at least for espresso, um, that can be achieved with having a lower thermal mass. And, you know, how, how does that actually impact energy efficiency. You know, I think we see a lot of machines nowadays who are so focused on like, let's dump a ton of heat into something and make sure it's stable. Like what is the advantage of going with like the low thermal mass approach that you guys have gotten with? I mean, the, the low thermal mass has definitely a, like, a huge impact of your, the energy mm. uh, efficiency. So like the on-demand heating of uh, the thick film layer plus the low thermal mass of the brewing group um, is the key to energy efficiency. Mm -hmm. So um, we also developed uh, firmware-wise and whole energy management system. Mm -hmm. So like it really redirects uh, the precision and the energy to the places where it really needs. Mm -hmm. So and um, if you have uh, this kind of uh, cool concept, you get really energy efficient. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about energy efficiency, um, the Unica Pro is 20 times more energy efficient than and commercial single group dual boiler system from leading companies. Right. Uh, we're talking here uh, about 70 kilowatt per year versus for the Unica Pro versus the 1,500 uh, kilowatt hours per year of those dual boiler systems. Wow. Yeah, I mean, e even in the home, like I have a dual boiler at home right now and like it's not going to heat up as fast as this. It's like in order for me to make sure that it's run, you know, I basically have to make sure that machine is running all the time for me, me to get the, the thermal efficiency that I want and for it to just be ready to, to pull shots. So this is just super cool to be tapping into that on-demand heating um, where you can start basically only drawing electricity when you actually need to be. Absolutely. Um, and I think that's really amazing, especially for things like the, the brew head and and that low, and combined with that low thermal mass, you, you get that flexibility of how you want to pull shots as well. With, with the, it's like you don't have to wait for your group head to like fully, fully be heated up uh, like you see in many more uh, traditional group head design <laughs> machines. Um, so now let's go over some other cool stuff. There's a lot of focus also on accuracy of this machine. You know, we hear inter you, you guys do a really great energy management, but also accuracy. Um, what do you mean by that? Like, I mean, like an accuracy in everything from volume displacement mm -hmm. to, to temperature, uh, everything like this. Uh, so like we're using really high and a very precise sensors uh, and focus, uh, uh, fo focusing really like there that we are uh, ultra precise. Mm -hmm. In terms of displacement pump and maybe uh, to showcase you this, um, so I, we go into like 
yeah, the water heating dispensing. Let's put a glass mm -hmm. uh, underneath and um, tear it. Perfect, it's tear to zero. zero. And now I'm using the 100 degrees Celsius 50 ml. And um, you see on the display that the progress of the volume dispensing and yeah, at the end you should see uh, 50 ml plus minus uh, the last drops. And yeah, that is now 94. 0.5 milliliters, like it's pretty cool. Pretty, yeah, soup. So, you know, we, we tell the machine to do 50, we get like. Yeah, the last drop you pretty much cannot uh, control. And it also depends on how much air you have in the line or something. Yeah, so 49, like one gram, one mil off, like what, like that's pretty yeah. good. And if you repeat it, I would say a second time. Yeah, it should be. You would even be closer. Yeah. Tell the machine to do 50. Yeah, it's so quiet. That's crazy. 49.8 mils. Wow, that's very accurate. Like, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's the uh, just the the water dispenser, the outlet here. That's super cool. We got the accuracy from the pump there, but we also have a steam boiler. This is something that I think it needed to be done. I'm like, there finally is a machine that is tapping into on-demand heating, instant heating, and there's actually a steam boiler. So this is something that I've actually been quite impressed with is actually the steam performance. Um, I'm no world latte artist or anything like that, but take a look at this. So it's just really cool to be able to have steam like this. Wow. <laughs> and it's cool touch, insulated. Yeah. Wow, you guys got steam on this too. <laughs> yes, and it, that was uh, actually very important to us. We wanted to be able to steam and uh, extract at the same time. A little, some specifications to uh, the steam boiler. So it's a 0.5 liter stainless steam boiler, uh, which you can heat up to 135 degrees Celsius, uh, which ends up into a steam of three bars. Mm. That is pretty powerful. And um, yeah. It also has uh, a steam timer function. Right now, uh, in this, uh, we set it uh, up for continuous steam power if we go with the knob down. Mm -hmm. And now we're setting it up uh, like this uh, steam auto timer for five seconds. And uh, if you go up, after five seconds, it stops. There's so much steam from this machine. Like that is. <laughs> Wow. And it stops automatically. Yeah. So you can set up a, a predefined amount of milk um, in your mug and then steam, uh, steam it. You just uh, touch the steam wand a little bit on the milk and you get a perfect uh, yeah, milk froth So for your cappuccino. Yeah, and uh, you can fully adjust that steam temperature too, right? Like all of that is all exactly. adjustable. It's yeah. all adjustable. Very cool. We even have, since this espresso machine is so energy efficient, we don't really create a lot of waste heat to uh, heat the cup tray. So we needed to uh, increase, uh, include a um, cup tray heater underneath, which you actually can set up uh, to the temperature you want from 40 to 70 degrees. Yeah. Um, wow. Here in this case, it's right now off. I don't need it mm. uh, in my home setting. Yeah, th just to add a note on, on that steam. You know, so you're, you're, you're able to pull a shot and steam at the exact same time. So. You know, if you're running a pop-up, even at home, like you want some efficiency, uh, you can basically have the, your profile set up for the espresso and just have that all fully dialed in and you can steam and it's quiet, it's quick. There are a lot of things about um, espresso machines that I think now, at least for me, that I'm focusing a bit more on, which is actually a lot like audible things, like how do the machines sound? How do they feel to use? And I really enjoy the fact that it's, it's just completely silent when it's pulling shot, and the steam is really, really fast. I just really like the fact that I can get both at the same time. 
kind of really increases efficiency, uh, especially if you're running events or you're doing things like farmers markets and even in your home setting, you know, maybe you gotta bang out a ton of lattes or cappuccinos for your family. You can have this set up to steam and the steam power is crazy. This is so, so much more than you would expect out of a machine of this size. Yeah. Um, the Unica yeah. Pro is a really great uh, machine for the mobile use. Mm. So like any portable coffee shops uh, or mobile coffee shops uh, can use a fixed water connection. The pump mm. is actually able um, to aspirate uh, the water directly from a, a canister or something. So like mm. you don't need any pressure uh, oh, wow. on it. Okay. So like and it. Uh, it does is up to five meters so like you can have your like water five meters away and the pump will uh, uh, pull it into the machine wow okay well let's open this guy up and take a look inside yes perfect here we go so some other things to go over is i look at the drip tray and everything uh, yes water. yeah so yeah, the machine is off and uh, you take off the drip tray. Um, what you can see here, it's uh, magnetically hold in place. And from the front, you also take off uh, the stainless steel uh, water tank. It has uh, a volume of 1.8 liter and it has also um, the lid here. Mm -hmm. So you can take the lid off, um, so like it prevents uh, also like water for splashing over. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so yeah. like in terms of serviceability, we tried to take everything off from the front since you don't want to grab in the back uh, and yeah. so on. Or going, filling water over the machine in. So like that's not what we wanted to. Yeah, have. and then on the inside, there's like a little um, sensor or the capacitance sensor. Exactly, there. so like uh -huh. we have, uh, we have uh, in the inside a little mechanism. So like if you uh, push the water tank in, the nozzle goes um, into um, the water and um, through a capaci uh, uh, capacity sensor, mm -hmm. we are able to detect the water level of the machine, of the tank. Yeah. And uh, what is also good, the Unica Pro let you always do your last shot and you will never see you running out of water during a shot. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's great to hear. Okay, let's um, take this apart and show off the uh, insides. Yes. Okay, well, we have disassembled the Unica Pro. Quite straightforward <laughs> to actually disassemble. So what, have, what, are, what are we looking at here? This is super unique. This part of the machine is incredibly unique. And then we have a bunch of other stuff. So. Yes. I mean, like, I think in general, so like we have a modular approach. Mm -hmm. So like whatever you see, we have pump unit uh, here. We have uh, all the heating unit here and we have here the steam boiler and here on the side, the power supply. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, quite unique is definitely uh, our pump. Here you see um, the stepper motor, which uh, drives over the belt and lead screw, which then uh, I would say displaces then the volume and that's pretty much uh, um, the pump. He, you, uh, you see also uh, the thick film layer which brings the, the temperature to a certain temperature and from there it goes then into the groom group. The brewing group here is a little bit uh, hidden but in general what you see here is all commercial grade valves and you see something I would say very unique. Um, we don't use any copper and so on. So what you see here is stainless steel and commercial grade parts and uh, Teflon hoses. So like uh, something which get used in, I would say, a very modern um, automatic uh, coffee machines. Mm -hmm. um, and some other high-tech components or materials like peak on the uh, steam wand, uh, a peak uh, tip so that it never gets really warm and you can remove easily your milk. 
uh, residues and uh, also uh, our brewing group uh, is very thermally uh, insulated and uh, uses also peak for um, isolating it and yeah. This is super cool. What, one question that I do have though is why is this tilted? Or the design, <laughs> you got the wood wood legs, and you know it's a kind of kind of tilted. Yeah. No, I mean that it's it's really just the design purpose. Uh, at one point, we needed to decide for a certain design, and we thought it would be nice and gives the machine a little bit more character mm. if we work with wood and it doesn't look as every uh, other espresso machine and uh, giving also a little bit of tilted look. Yeah. Um, so it, from far it looks like uh, that maybe even the cups will fall off your machine <laughs> or something, but no, we are leveled uh, and every uh, surface mm -hmm. you, you put, uh, I would say, a cup on or something. Mm -hmm. So it's just a look from the outside. Yeah, there's also the uh, the cup heater, which which plugs in over here. To, it's just a heating pad, basically, to keep the cups warm. Exactly, so yeah. like <laughs> this is, I mean, we needed to put uh, in a heating foil on the surface for the cup tray mm -hmm. since this machine is so energy efficient that we don't have enough uh, waste heat <laughs> to create i would say like or to cup uh, to heat the cups yeah. uh, in a proper way this is a good problem to have i guess <laughs> <laughs> yes so let's put the machine back together and, and try a little bit more about uh, unica and and um talk a bit about you know when can we buy these right so we'll put the machine back and we'll sit back down and uh, chat a little bit more. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we made some coffee on the Unica Pro. We took it apart. We showed off a bunch of stuff. You know, how did this project and this machine actually uh, begin? Like, what is what's the background of the company? I mean, we simply wanted to develop for us an optimal espresso machine since we were not convinced uh, about the current available espresso machines on the market. Marco, Christian, and I, we develop um, full-time high-tech medical devices and we put our long year of experience uh, in product development, fluid and thermodynamic into uh, the Unica Pro. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like so cool to see just your, your guys' background and, and the expertise that you guys all have coming together and bringing us an espresso machine that in my opinion we you know really a lot of us haven't seen before like a lot of the the approach the precision and and solving a lot of big pain points that uh, consumers have with also a huge focus on accuracy data and even energy efficiency so it really checks a lot of boxes and and i think this is just something you guys should just be very proud of and now i think what we'd like to talk about is currently this machine does exist in in europe but we're in the united states so how what's what kind of is the next plan or next steps for the company yeah correct so as i mentioned we launched uh last year in europe uh, and we are working with uh, selected uh, resellers together and uh, it's currently available in switzerland germany and austria in the next couple of months uh, we will expand also into uh, other countries uh, within the european union since we have the ce mark mm -hmm. Um, but in parallel, we are already working on uh, a U.S. safety certification, which allow us to enter the U.S. market. And uh, we um, have the goal to already ship the, the, the first orders uh, something uh, next year. The price point in Europe currently is uh, 7,600 euros. Okay. And uh, we most like in the same range, I would say, like translated uh, into uh, the US dollar uh, will be something uh, similar. Similar, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, so, you know, more premium if you're using it for a home, very premium machine for the home, uh, and definitely checks all the boxes for machines that are similarly priced uh, for, for coffee shops, small coffee shop, pop ups, all of that. But I, I think this is current landscape of things, this is a very, very compelling choice to, to pick. Um, especially if you're looking for like mobile usage. And honestly, even for you guys who are using this for home, 
this has a lot of very, very nice features for home usage. And I think this is something that um, we will look out for. Like I, I, re I want one of these machines. <laughs> so I'm really hoping you guys come out with uh, the, the USA models uh, soon. But it's, it's quite amazing to see the progress of this machine uh, so far. Like what we have here is just, it's like a one, 110 volt, um, prototype or you would say or so yeah like uh, one of our first uh, prototypes we took so like you see that's a prototype and uh, it already looks like plus minus 95 percent uh, of the prototype is the same as our series model uh, we just uh, made right now some modifications for the 110 volt yeah. and these are also the um, machines we are using for the safety certification mm -hmm. so you know i'm really curious to hear your guys thoughts on this uh, for those of you who are in the eu who have this machine already would love to hear you guys uh, chime in here and there and, and write in the comments. Uh, but we're gonna make more videos with Marcus. I mean, he's, he's local to me, so you know, I drove over to his place we're, and we're filming a video here, but I, I just love to see companies putting out products like this. And I, I think this is awesome. So really curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this. We're gonna make some more videos with Marcus uh, going down the line, so definitely feel free to leave any questions you guys have anything you want we'll we'll make we'll, we'll come back and we'll talk about things but you know i wanted to put this out there we'll check in on the progress as time goes on but uh yeah is there anything else you want to you want to add like I think the community should know that, yeah, that we are currently also working uh, on an app which can connect with the Unica Pro and that we work also on our own grinder. So uh, I, I think this will round up uh, the whole uh, product concept very well. And I think uh, the user will like to work with it. Yeah, like what's interesting to me is that this is a company that's coming out here and saying, look, we want to provide you the data, but also, you know, work with these roasters, work with people who will also have Unica Pros and be like, these are the profiles that they create. This is all done by the company. Like this isn't a community led effort. This is, oh, we need to put together a database and build everything together and share profiles. Like, no, this is coming from the manufacturer. And I think that is quite unique. And, you know, it, it's something that we're gonna see going forward. And I, I just really, really like that there's just a lot of boundaries being pushed with this machine. And I think it'll be just super cool to see. And I'm, I'm very excited for you guys. And I, I, want, I want this to, to come out soon Thank in the US. <laughs> we want to buy it. <laughs> I want to buy you. one. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, it's really impressive. And, and like, since everything, it's so accurate and precise uh, in terms of heat, volume displacement, uh, and so on, you really can share recipes from instrument to instrument on the Unica Pro and it is in the US here in San Francisco uh, versus in Switzerland in Cre uh, if you have the same beans if you have a shared recipe you get the same result if you follow the uh, same grind size that's yeah. incredible yeah that's that's gonna be super awesome like I, I just love that someone's trying to bring consistency to people's experience ac across the world and I'm very excited to see where the Unica Pro goes as well as you guys Unica the company like got new products coming out soon and I, 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 this is the stuff that gets me super excited and I hope this gets you guys excited as well. But please leave any sort of questions you have in the comments. We will be making a follow-up video with Marcus and uh, we definitely want to see your guys' thoughts on this machine. And I, I just think it's gonna be cool to, to kind of follow along and see where this all goes. Um, but I wanna thank you guys for spending the time to watch this video. And I also wanna thank Marcus for uh, having us over and filming with us and um, answering all these questions and showing off the Unica Pro. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank and you. Thank you for coming by. All right. See you guys later. Bye.